Hi, my name is Brad Wagner and I'm the Director of Product Strategy here at Vision Core. And in this role, I get to speak with lots of customers about the different issues that they're having in their environments and what pains they have and what needs that they have based on their virtualization environment and to look for ways that we can address those either with our current products that we have and, and make sure that they're aware of what those are or to be able to build in new features and functionality into our products over time. And one that I wanted to share with you today is by far the most consistent feedback that I receive across the customer space when we talk to them. And that is that when they're planning how much their virtualization is going to cost them and planning their return on investment timeframes and things like that, they tell me that they're always surprised by how much their growth of storage is in their environment and usually they'll give it to me and says it's 2x or 3x or more what they had anticipated needing for storage for a given number of virtual machines that they expected to have in their environment and when I ask them why that is they give me uh, pretty consistent reasons and I'd like to share those with you in the hopes that it might help you to be more aware of this as you're doing your planning moving forward and the reasons that they're telling me that they're using so much more storage has to do with things like the perception that virtual machines are a lot cheaper than their physical counterparts and so people seem to come and request them on a much more regular basis. Another reason that they're given is just in when they do request a given production VM for an application that in the past that would be the only machine that they would request. But what's happening now is that when they come and request them because again they, they have the the perception that they're much more inexpensive, then they're coming and requesting more than just that one VM. They're coming and requesting one for QA or one for DR or one for dev in addition to the production one that they're doing. And so a lot of times where they would have done one to one, you know, for what they had done before, now they're getting 4x or 5x the number of machines being requested for a given application than what they had anticipated previously. And of course each one of those virtual machines requires storage on the back end. And that's one reason why the storage growth is occurring. Another reason that they're regularly giving me in feedback is that new technologies and new uh, recovery time objectives where they want to have things available to them quicker than what they had in the past is leading to the use of things like disk-based storage for backups and disk-based replication and disk storage for uh, even the replication that goes on between sites. And so when they do those types of things, it's been pretty interesting to see how much additional storage they need per production VM in order to satisfy those requests. So take the use case of um, disk-based backups. If you have a retention policy to where you want to be able to keep um, you know, history of backups available for restore, in a lot of environments they were telling me that they're keeping full copies of each VM multiple times on that disk until those backups expire and they reuse them and again that leads to a 3, 4 or 5x type of storage growth that they weren't anticipating when they were using uh, tape based backups and things of that nature and so all of those reasons tend to combine to be able to uh, show why they're consuming so much more storage. One final one that they regularly share with me is just in the overcapacity of storage, the overallocation that is done per virtual machine. When somebody comes and requests a production application, uh, they will say, here's what the vendor tells me, or here's what we forecast to need for storage. I need 100 gigs for this application, or I need 80 gigs for this application. And when they do that, uh, they provision that storage, and then they never use all of that storage. And in times uh, 100 VMs or 1,000 VMs, they really wind up with a problem of a lot of storage that's allocated in their environment that's not being used in the manner that they anticipated it being used. And so those are the frustrations that they bring and the pain points and the, the reasons that they give for why they wind up with so much more additional storage being requested in their environment than they were able to forecast. And so what we have done is uh, put together quite a few products that address those types of needs that I want to be able to share with you. The first one is vFoglight and what it does in monitoring that virtualization environment is to be able to give much better information to people that are forecasting that storage to be able to present more accurate information in a timely fashion to be able to um, f understand what their needs are going to be. So for things like you know, features such as capacity planning to be able to say here's what your uh, storage use has been, here's what the growth curve has looked like, here's what it looks like you're going to need for this set amount of time. 
Another one is on a per virtual machine or a per data store basis to be able to look at the storage that it's consuming and be able to forecast when it's going to run out of space. So being able to give uh, a metric in terms of months or weeks or even days to be able to say when you're going to run out of storage is something that is a very powerful feature inside of vFoglight. A second um, product that really helps in this regard is vOptimizer. And so what it does is takes and automates uh, the reclamation of storage or the growing of storage and making that available to virtual machines. So for example, the use case where we were describing the over allocation of storage and the pain that that's causing virtualization administrators, that goes away because they're able to look at the utilization for a given virtual machine or a suite of virtual machines and be able to say, let's reprovision that storage to be 20% uh, more than what they're using now. Or let's put a, 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 a right sized uh, cap on what this virtual machine is using at, if it's using say 15 gigs, you might set it at 25 gigabytes of storage that it requires and reclaim the rest of it up to 80 or 100, whatever was allocated to it. So we have customers that regularly tell us that they have recovered terabytes of information, uh, of, of space that wasn't being used for any information on those virtual machines and they're able to return that and save that money and not having to go buy additional storage for their environment. And finally, a free product that we offer is called Virtualization EcoShell that allows people to have even more flexibility in being able to do PowerShell scripting in their VMware environments to be able to uh, generate additional reports or other types of things that they want to do, including things like Visio diagrams to be able to show what virtual machines are on what data stores and be able to use that information when they go and request additional storage to answer questions that are given back to them, like where did the storage go so fast? You know, what applications are consuming all of that storage that you just came in a quarter ago and requested? And being able to use this whole suite of tools has providing quite a bit of success in the market place to be able to address these concerns that people have in this pain point of uh, virtualization consuming all of this additional storage in their environment. Thank you very much.